Today we're going to talk about something called a global scope and a local scope inside PHP. And this is not really that complicated, so we're just going to make a really short episode of this. Now, as you guys can see, I do actually have some stuff on the screen already. I have a variable called x, which is equal to 5, and have a function that we created called something which has a variable inside of it called y, which is equal to 10. Now, the whole idea behind global and local scopes is that when we have a function, any kind of variable we define inside the function is going to be a local scope, meaning that we can only use it inside the function itself. Now, any kind of function defined outside the functions, or like any kind of variable defined outside the functions, are going to be inside the global scope, meaning that we can use them, you know, for our code. So if I do actually have an echo down here, and I were to echo out variable x, go to my browser, refresh, you guys will see we get five. Now, if I were to try and echo out variable y, because it's inside the local scope of the function, we're actually going to get an error message, because right now we cannot figure out where is variable y at. So this is the basic idea behind local and global scopes. There's really not more to it than this. Um, but you just need to remember that if you want to be able to use a variable inside you know, your code and you want to use it you know, outside a function, you need to make sure it's inside the global scope and not inside the local scope. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the reason we wanted to talk about this in this episode is actually because we're going to talk about something called uh, super globals in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.